Oh, hey everyone, it's Travel 1981 here. I'm just laying my uh, my head on this cold eggnog bottle. Uh, as you know, uh, Christmas is coming up pretty soon, and at the markets you will see eggnog everywhere. I mean, they've had that already before Thanksgiving. So uh, I came across this brand uh, about 30 minutes ago. I was at the market, and I was like, hey, i got to try this out, eggnog. In a couple of weeks, I won't be here, so uh, the place where I'm going, um, secret location, can't tell, shh, uh, it won't have eggnog, I know. A, a place where I'm going doesn't have eggnog, that is uncalled for. That's just not right. But anyways, since I'm here in the good old USA, I'm going to do a review of eggnog. Uh, this one's a holiday eggnog. Um, this is, like I said, Boathouse Farms, never heard of it. Um... It was uh, bottled with pride in the U.S. in Bakersfield, California. It has it's gluten free, no preservatives, no artificial flavors. Uh, instructions tell you to keep refrigerated, shake well. Um, Eighty percent less fat, seventy-five percent less cholesterol, sixty percent fewer calories. Has low-fat milk, filtered water, cane sugar, organic. Agave, nectar, whey protein, concentrate, and all this other stuff that is not relevant to this review. So, hopefully you guys enjoy this review. I'm kind of worried because this is gluten-free. Yeah, I don't know about gluten-free. I don't know about this low-fat milk since I do not like low-fat milk. So, let's do this. Uh, heads up to my buddy, uh, The Mix-Up 3. Um, he's reached, wow, so many subscribers, and kudos to you. Uh, so kudos three, this, I mean, the mix-up three, this is for you, Holiday Eggnog. So, I'm going to shake it, and now I'm going to open the thing. Whoa, that is a pungent smell. Oh, I'm going to have to try it anyways. Brought my uh, Matador, Matador, mat, the Matador cup, or tumbler, I guess. It's uh, clear, but had some eggnog inside. Tried to clear it up with water. Didn't really help. So we're going to put this, pour this bad boy in. Oh. Oh, I'm cringing already. Oh. I don't think they even were, if this is so bad, I don't think they're going to allow me to return it, but we'll we'll just drink it for the heck of it and for this review. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. I don't know. This is not what I expected. Uh, this is just the... It's, it's foamy, and, you know, when you, um, on the top, uh, mm, it's just this weird f smell that comes on top of it. It's not like your eggnog type smell. Oh, the, the taste is even worse. Oh my gosh. Could it be because it's low fat milk? If you think it's low-fat milk, leave a comment below. Let me know, please. Oof. Oh, man. Wow. It tastes like dog food, but in a shake form, sort of. I don't know. I mean, it does go down my throat very smoothly, but it's like I'm cringing. I don't even want to drink any more of it. It's very smooth, not too thick. Oh, mm-mm. 
I'm probably going to have to bring this to work and just say, hey, what's up, everyone? I have eggnog for ya. Uh, so, uh, this, like it says, it says it's low fat, limited edition. Yeah, all right. Um, 52 flow an ounce. Uh, I don't know. I, I guess, in my honest opinion, I don't think I would get this again. I would rate this a definite one out of five. Uh yeah, I, I think uh, even the um, the supermarket version of eggnog is even better. Even though it's too, it's very thick and very strong. Uh, this one has like a is that a pungent like a sour? It's like a it's like a ugh flavor. Like you're like ugh. I don't know if I should drink any more of this. But like I said, it's a review for y'all. So beware of. Boats House Farms, if you live in California, Southern California, Southern California, or even Central California, especially, and you see this, even Northern California, you see this, yes, do not try this, but at your own expense, if you want to, you can try it, uh, it's like $5.99, it's, it's not too big, it's not too bad of a bottle, it's pretty big, it's uh, 1.625 quarts, whereas the Bogueras is just one quart. But that was the best. Oh my gosh. I think I'm going to get some more of that. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed this review. If you enjoyed this review as much as I did. Well, I kind of I really didn't enjoy this review. Like I said, it's a 1 out of 5. Eh. I'm just very lenient and very uh, um, generous to give this a 1 out of 5. Just because of the price, the, the size, and it's smooth, you know. It's not too bad, but it's just the taste is not my forte. Uh, but, yeah, that's about it. This is travel 1981 here, and I hope you enjoyed this review. If not, subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe. If you have known any friends or any classmates, any co-workers, or maybe complete strangers who want to check out some awesome reviews, tell them to subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below, share some videos on social media, I don't know, leave some suggestions on what holiday things I should try. This is Travel Dude 1981 here, and I'm going to see you later. See ya!